welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by in this video i'll be making this dress that you can see on your screen so i'll be using three yards of ankara fabric half yard of estee half yard of shiny face a boning my zip i didn't use the zip thread and of course my cup so let's jump right into the video so i've already gone ahead to mark out my points on my pattern paper i do this all the time on this channel so let me quickly run you guys through all the points that i have here the distance from my shoulder to my chest line is 8 inches distance from my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches distance from my shoulder to my under bust point is 13 inches and the distance from my shoulder to my waist point is 16 inches i'll go ahead and label all my points on the shoulder line i'll take half of my shoulder measurement which is 8 inches i'll take the same measurement on my chest line and i'll connect the both dots into a straight line after doing that i came down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i curved out my arm hole so the next thing i'm going to do is to go up from my chest line by half an inch i'll indicate that with a point and then i'll come inward by half an inch also i'll also indicate that with a point so i'll connect the two half an inch points together using my ruler i'll go ahead and connect the point to meet the chest line like this after doing that on my under bust line i'm going to go up by one inch i'll mark one inch like this and then i'll go ahead and rule a straight line across so i'm doing this so that by the time i place my cup is going to sit perfectly on my under bust line so i'm going to bring in my cup and i'm going to place my cup like this so pay close attention to how i am placing this cup it's a bit slanted and make sure you don't press it down so i'm going to use my marker to trace out the shape that i have on the cup so be careful while doing this and make sure that the cup is touching the new line that you created so um my cup is not on the line because i took one and a half inch before i changed my mind to make it one inch so i went up by one inch from my under bust point that is why my own cup is not sitting on the line is half an inch below the line so i'm going to mark half an inch all the way around the cup this is going to serve as my stitching allowance the next thing i'll do is to create the yoke so i'm going to determine how wide i want the shoulder to be so i'll go in by three inches and then i'm going to use my ruler to slant from that point to meet the arm or area like this so that is all we need to do for the neckline so the next thing i'll do is to start placing my measurements on my bust point i'll take my bust circumference divided by four and i'll add two inches as my stitching allowance on my under bust point i'll take my under bust circumference divided by four i'll also add two inches for my stitching allowance and on the waistline i'll mark my hip circumference so i first of all marked my waist circumference divided by four and i added two inches for stitching allowance after connecting the dots i realized that the waist line might become small after sewing so in order to be on the safer side you can just place your hip circumference divided by four on your waistline and then you add stitching allowance so to create the basque waistline i went down from my waistline by four inches i just like you see me doing i'll indicate that with a point and then i'll use my ruler to slant from that point to meet the waistline so i went back in to adjust the waistline area on my waistline i placed my hip circumference divided by four and then i added two inches for stitching allowance so i'm going to just shape on my sewing machine by the time i'm sewing so th that way you not run short of fabric i don't know if you understand so i'm going to adjust the waistline back into the basque um effect waistline so after doing that guys we are done with the front pattern the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and cut this out so pay close attention so you know where to cut
after cutting i'll go ahead and label my yolk so make sure you add stitching allowance to this yolk because it actually looks small i should have gone in by four inches but then i'll be adding stitching allowance to it by the time i'm cutting on my fabric so for the back i also went ahead to draft out my um to mark my points so i have my chest line my bust points and my waistline so i also went ahead to take half of my shoulder measurement and i came down by one inch for my shoulder slope the next thing i'll do is to mark the depth of my neckline which i'm going to mark one inch and then i'm going to use my ruler to connect from that point to meet my shoulder slope so make sure that your shoulder for the front and the shoulder for the back should be the same so remember we took three inches for the shoulder wideness of the front which is the yoke so i'm also going to take three inches for the back and then i'll connect from the one inch to meet the three inches just like this on the neckline depth i'm going to go down by one inch i will indicate that with a point and on my chest line i'm going to go in by four inches i will also indicate that with a point so i'm going to connect the point on the neckline area to meet this four inches mark this is because i want the back of this dress to be opened um, so if you don't want this, you can go ahead and just draft out your normal basic bodies. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So on the ammo area, I'm going to divide what I have by two. And on the chest line, I'll take my bust circumference divided by four. I'll place that and then I'll use my ruler to cover out my ammo. I'll not be adding a dart to the back part of this dress. I already have my bust circumference divided by 4 on my chest line. On the waistline, I'll take my hip circumference divided by 4 and I'll add 2 inches for stitching allowance. On the bust points, I'll, since I already have my bust circumference divided by 4, I'll add 2 inches also for my stitching allowance and I'll go ahead and connect the points together. So for the back, I also want to add the basque waistline. If you don't want to, you can stop at your waistline so that the front and the back will meet at the waistline but i want to add this bust and um, waistline to the front you don't have to do this okay so i'm going to go down by four inches just like i did for the front and i slanted to meet the waistline so after doing that i also want to add loop to the back of this um, dress so i'll not be adding a zipper on the chest line i'll go in by three inches and then i'm going to slant to meet the end of this pattern paper which is the back um waistline so i'm going to slant i'm doing a v-shape um loop area or a v-shape opening i don't know what to call it so after doing that i'll shade out this part so we know that we are going to cut this part out we don't need a zipper allowance because we'll be adding loop so that's why i reduced the upper part of this um dress by three inches so after doing that i'll go ahead and cut so pay close attention so you know where to cut so guys after cutting i'll go ahead and also separate the yoke from the main bodies i did that off camera so i'll separate the yoke from the main bodies so after doing that guys i'm going to place all this pattern paper on my fabric and i'll go ahead and cut after cutting my fabric um, with the pattern paper, I'll go ahead and cut with the ST and I'll go ahead and iron my ST to both the lining and the main piece. So guys, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. This is the pattern drafting tutorial. So stay tuned for the sewing version. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, leave your questions in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the sewing version tutorial. Bye for now.